Yo, 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 what is going on, you guys? Your boy Quixel, and today I got a very special tutorial for y'all. And this tutorial is gonna be focusing on how to record your gameplay without an Elgato. And I know most of y'all want to know the solution to that because some of us might not have a good budget or we just don't feel like buying anything or wasting anything on the game capture device or anything sort of stuff like that and right now i'm actually recording off my iphone i'm gonna be doing this video off my iphone i did do another video off of it it was kind of a vlog the freaking resolution was pretty damn awesome so i'm gonna be doing it on this you know it just makes my life easier don't have to go through all my laptop stuff and yeah let's get right into it should we so first off what you want to do on your ps4 which i'm gonna be showing y'all here it's gonna be kind of weird but uh you know let me show y'all right right quick right here you see your ps4 and then you got your freaking playstation 4 on the top and your controller basically what you want to do um is just click on the game you actually want to you know get some gameplay from so let me just connect to online service sorry about the glare i've never done this before kind of weird resolution actually the iPhone resolution is pretty good I'm not gonna lie to y'all but what you want to do is when you have your PlayStation 4 controller and you're ready to record your gameplay you have the options on your right side and then you have your share on the left side basically what you want to do is double click it if you want to get a gameplay so as you can see at my top left corner you will see a recording thing and when you double click it right there you see a double click uh, recording thingy on the top left of your TV basically what this is telling you is that it's recording the gameplay on itself and you cannot go to the PlayStation home when you're doing this is gonna stop the video and so what you want to do is click or double click the the share button once again to stop your gameplay so it's gonna look like this again video clip save capture gallery so what you're gonna do from there is go over to your playstation home go over here to capture gallery slide over to the gameplay you have so i have a few right here just click on that see right there see that's the gameplay i recorded but if you want to record a gameplay with your commentary what you're gonna have to do is left click share so just one time you will see this pop-up menu come all the way down to sharing and broadcast settings now what this is gonna allow you to do is use your mic in the party by yourself and record your commentary while you're doing the gameplay so you're gonna go down over here length of video clip you have at least an hour that actually changed they used to be 15 minutes so that's pretty awesome now you can do an hour uh, then we got broadcast and audio settings you want to go down to audio sharing settings right here is the main thing guys look here it says include microphone audio and video clips this allows you to allows you to you know put in your commentary and your streams and also your video clips which is your videos and also you have share party audio which can be used to record other people's uh, voices in your party so if you're gonna do that basically what you're gonna have to do is do the following thing click the middle button on your controller the PlayStation the PlayStation button you want to make a party so go to party let's say you're gonna create your own and you have friends in Basically what you're gonna do is create a party And once you have this screen right here, basically what you're gonna do the following is click on I believe is wait uh, party settings When you go down to party settings, it will say allow your voice to be shared Tell your friends to enable that to always allow So it will pick up their commentary as well so if you have both of them on, you will have your commentary and your friend's commentary on. So next time you double click your controller on share, it will record not only your gameplay, 
Also, it's going to record your commentary and your friends. That is if you put for your friends commentary to be allowed. So yeah, that's just an example. So basically, once you've done that, you just got to go to home again. Go to capture gallery. And if you cannot find capture gallery on your PS4, it might be inside this, which is called uh, library. See, library, you have the Internet Explorer, which I didn't even know where it was, so I had to go in there. So if it's not there, just click on it. It should be in there. What you want to do is click on your clip that you want to edit or whatever you want to do. And by the way, I'm going to be making a second part to this because I have to show you the editing part. And I don't want this video to be too, too long. So, you know, I'm trying to make it very sweet and short for y'all. So let's see. Let's check this out again. So what you're going to do for this is you're going to click uh, options on your controller. And then we have right here, copy to USB storage device. As you see, it says USB storage device is not connected. I'm going to click OK. For this, you will need a very good USB that has a decent 4 gigabytes at least, uh, depending on how much you're going to be recording and transporting onto this USB. Like as you see, I have an old Xbox 360 USB. It has like 16 gigabytes on it. It's kind of reversed, but yeah, it has 16 gigabytes on it. So that's pretty good enough. So you should have one, you know, if you have any school ones that have pretty good uh, gigabytes, you're just going to insert it at the top of your PS4 right there it's connected now let's check now you're gonna click options again copy to USB and then as you can see it lets you select as many as you want then you click copy and it will say this and just click OK it will see it will be doing that but I want to cancel it for the sake of this you know I don't want to add any random stuff but yeah, once it does that, that means it is transferring your files or your gameplay onto your USB. And once you've done that, you want to grab your USB when it's uh, done loading. Right here, I'm going to show you a computer part. So sorry, my video actually kind of cut off towards the end. And basically what we're going to do now is just transfer your gameplay onto, oh crap, onto your computer. So mostly I already know that. So let's just do this. Basically, you're gonna connect it to your USB port. And if I can get it in. All right. Next thing you gotta do, and my computer's kinda messy right now, you gotta just locate your file. So typically mine's will look like something like this right here. E under PS4 right here, double click share. All right, sorry about that guys. Uh, there was a big mosquito on me and he's probably around me again. Uh, but basically what you're gonna do is click video clips and look for the one that you transfer onto your USB and mine says this one right here so if we minimize this here we drag this onto our desktop which is probably the main reason is that it looks so disgusting because I always do this and my desktop is exactly the way it is because I always do this so basically you're just gonna wait for it to download or transfer onto your desktop if you want to call it and there it is it's right here there's one right here I have a no this one that I transferred onto my USB as you can see the whole gameplay is there I wasn't really there's a separate way I do my videos but this is just an easier way for y'all to do it and if y'all want to see the way I do it just let me know in the comment section down below it's uh it's kind of free i want to call it but it has a few more other stuff to do in it which uh is not doesn't make it easier just makes it makes it a bit harder so yeah this is all for this video if y'all want the second part let me know in the comment section down below and i'm going to be showing y'all how to actually edit your videos for free um and i kind of already did a video like that on how to edit on movie maker which is for windows but if y'all want me to show you how to actually edit the video, then I will. Just let me know in the comment section down below. It's been your boy Quixel here. Make sure to have a very awesome day and peace out.